Hi everyone. Today our topic is Angular Momentum Angular momentum is the measure of rotational momentum of rotating body. It is the rotational equivalent of linear momentum. It is a vector quantity. It is the analogous of linear momentum. The angular momentum of same particle at the vector displacement from axis of rotation is given by L is equal to R cross P where L is the angular momentum and P is the linear momentum which is equal to product of mass and velocity so L is equal to RMV for angular motion put V equal to R omega so L is equal to MR square omega I is the moment of inertia of body which is equal to MR square so angular momentum equal to i omega angular momentum can also be defined as the product of moment of inertia and angular velocity of body angular momentum and torque consider a body move in a circle where r is always perpendicular to p as shown in figure the magnitude of change in angular momentum is delta L equal to R delta P divide both sides by delta T delta L by delta T equal to R delta P by delta T according to momentum and Newton's second law the rate of change of angular momentum equal to applied force so above equation becomes delta L by delta T equal to RF delta L by delta T equal to applied torque thus the rate of change of angular momentum equal to applied torque law of conservation of angular momentum if no external torque act on system the angular momentum of the system remains constant it is one of the fundamental principle of physics. It has been verified from the cosmological and submicroscopic level. This law is often used by circus acrobats divers, ballet dancers and ice skaters. A man standing on turned table and holding heavy weights in his hands. With arms fully stretched horizontally. He is first set rotating slowly. Upon drawing the hands and weight in towards the chest, the angular velocity is considerable increased. Mathematically, I1 omega 1 equal to I2 omega 2. The product of inertia and angular velocity of body is constant. This is according to law of conservation of momentum. By using law of conservation of momentum, we distinguish between raw and boiled egg. When raw egg is spin the yolk of egg being denser move away from axis of rotation. Its moment of inertia increases. Therefore it is more difficult to spin. However the yolk of boiled egg is fixed its moment of inertia not increases. So it spin easily. Thanks for watching us.